Storm of Nuke. It's a phase classic as they take on Godsend here in the second map of this series. And look at this, the pistol round's already underway. Mm. Perfect, that's what you want to see. Let's get this one beginning now. Godsend gonna try and pick up the uh, the pieces over here in the ramp room. Stiko having to hop on down as he gets rushed by five men from the Godsend, uh, sorry, from the FaZe Clan side. They do get this position down towards hell and now FaZe going up into heaven. Maybe it's them who's Godsend as they get down into this A bomb site. Damage done. Crystal does deal with Nico, but Olaf immediately equalizes it out. Bomb plant does come in and it's a plant for heaven with Olaf lurking in late through the ramp room this bomb is planted for him and there's no smokes no utility on the godsend side that really could cause to be a bit of a problem here for the godsend squad Olaf pressure's on now 1v2 this isn't going to be easy even with the heaven bomb plant Zen is going to be keeping an eye on this position Madden does have a kit as well and Olaf peeking just a little too late gives that defuse over very awkward engagement as godsend do you manage to find that pistol route also, Hugo, I've just noticed your uh, your shell uh, shell suit like glows in the dark, kind of. Yeah, you know that's pretty cool. I, I didn't like know a, they did that. No, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it could get sure. more ridiculous. But here you are, neon green. I can try. I can yeah. really try. But uh, yeah, well, got it. They're the one trying. They're the ones taking the pistol around, Harry. That's going to start things off a little bit better here in this series. I didn't want Face to completely blow Gotten out of the water. Not just yet, anyway. So let's see what FaZe do when they're the one tasked with trouble. It's a couple of UMPs and a few pistols around it. This is not a great buy for FaZe, but they want that top site. They might just get it. Utility going into main, Molotov to the back vent. Madden's going to get pushed out and a molly on top of the hut as well. No one here. Got to all inside of the site. The bomb has been dropped. They come up the vent. Olaf gets one before he's traded, but the Deagles do provide some sustenance here for FaZe. That Molotov stalling out the plant if it were to be attempted. Steko's going to kill Brokey and now things get very difficult. FaZe are trapped. One in the hut, one holding heaven. Michael Ely can't go wide and Nico knows it, but he doesn't know that he's necessarily there. Steko's position is obviously... Understood by FaZe, but hiding in the smoke won't work out for Cold Zero. He gets caught, and Nico now has to find a one-on-two. He's looked away. Michael Ailey's come swinging out, and Michael Ailey knows exactly where Nico is. He's heard the footsteps. He's got the read on the situation, but he's not got the shot. And Michael Ailey puts Godset up two and zero. Good lobby wrap for Stiko as well. FaZe make it interesting, but they don't really get in the round. So now just having to bite the bullet and play with pistols in this one, our phase. Now that's not to say they're not deadly when only the Deagles are by their side. I certainly wouldn't want to find myself on the other side of it anytime soon. Makalele though, he seems up to the task. But, you know, on with the scout versus the Deag. I imagine this is going to be pretty fruitful for Makalele. Now in the meantime, Madden has mopped up two more players down here outside and with it has dropped the bomb. So FaZe, answer them finding much in this round, going down by the second, and they even spot Olaf over in the hut. Nico gets mopped up shortly after. And you know, now the best FaZe can really hope for is that maybe they take a couple of players down with them in this round. Makalele finally tags some damage onto Raid, and that might lead to him having to abandon peek in this outside area. Olaf gets away with some damage, but not a kill. And there's the wrap from Zen. Third conversion round there found for the Godsend side and the reinvestment coming in from FaZe. This is where things are going to heat up and this is where we get to have a very good look as to how this Godsend CT side is going to stack up versus the FaZe crew. Yeah, moment of truth here. No orbs in play early. <clears throat> Michael Ailey could buy one, but no reason to. Going into the first rifle round, you know that FaZe are going to be armed and AKs could be available. Lots of early utility for Godsend as should be thrown to stop FaZe from bursting outside or getting in through this hut. But as Molotov's FaZe, where will FaZe go? Or fade, rather. 
Smoke's outside here for the T side. They're going to try and cross towards Secret or Garage. Both options are available. The bomb is crawling back out of lobby here. So FaZe, uh, I assume, are going to want to commit to award some outside control and, and get down lower here. If they hold the bomb in lobby, they can use these smokes to get towards Garage, split mini, split hell. And that might be the idea. They're going to try and push the player in secret back as three sit towards the ramp side for FaZe. But Steeko's pushed up in the meantime, and Olaf isn't going to check it. That's a free kill. Will it be traded? FaZe need this frag, and they've got it. Bomb getting spotted, and the ramp split coming through. FaZe want to hit lower. The scout is here, though. It's not the weapon Michael Ellie wanted. The orb will be a lot more versatile in that position. And Nico, he's entering down lower as well. Oh. Two kills, both headshots. Uh -oh. Bomb's dropped, though, and FaZe have lost it in the lobby. Crystal's pushed in. They try and avoid Michael Ailey. Instead, they walk back into an even bigger threat and Crystal's going to try and push further. Michael Ailey got, got him covered and now FaZe need kills. They're not worried about the plants. Yeah, this was looking real good for FaZe with those double entries from Nico, but now he's got to continue his little reign of terror in this round. Rain coming up through ramp does manage to best Crystal. Ooh, and Nico yeah. even dealing with Makalele to cement three kills in that round. Every single one of them so important to the FaZe Clan squad, and he will be the impact player of round number four. Justifiably so, Nico really the savior of FaZe in that round there, giving them all the kills down towards B to secure the site, and then when his team ended up dropping the ball with the bomb on the lobby push, he was able to regain control. So FaZe putting their first on the board. Now, that wasn't attempted, a bit of a bonus round from Godsent. They're still left with plenty of cash moving into this round. Potential reset on the horizon for whichever one of these two teams lets this round slip through their fingers. So this one actually pretty weighty in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, I like the pop of the resmoke from FaZe. They don't throw it from spawn, they throw it on the fly and they can stall things out as long as they want. Hitting down secret with the flashes. Nico is the last man down, wanting to sneak. Doesn't want Godsent to fully be aware of how many players are lower, right? Because Michael Ellie in the garage can hear the footsteps. He can. Give that information away. FaZe going for the boost. Once that smoke fades, Nico can fight the stairwell, and there's no way Crystal can escape if he's in this angle. But he, oh, the fool, Nico. He does get the info, but Crystal, that's an impeccable shot. Double dink onto Nico. He even escapes inside of B. How on earth does he get that kill? I don't know. FaZe still have a man outside. Olaf, if he can find this kill to Michael Ellie, FaZe can go up towards A, but the timing isn't good. Olaf doesn't realize he's swung, and Michael Ellie misses the shot. Olaf keeps things in the 4-on-4 four four for FaZe. Do they want to go up the vent to A with that kill coming through? Is that even an option? Zen's not going to allow them to. Cold Zero is still sitting here, considering it. Zen playing that top side. Olaf, he's been taken out of main. FaZe might just have to go towards B with this position, but Godset are all over it. It's a cool molly that they throw there, right? Because they all group up in vent, they hear the molly tag someone, and so they know that there's already a player waiting above the vents. And also that molly prompts a bit of a stick around from the three players up towards that upper bomb site, right? Anticipating that they're trying to clear the vents so that they can come up them. And so this has left a three on three available to phase. Steko does at least dispatch of Brokey. As Zenim with another, it Ooh. all falls onto Cold Zera. But if there ever was a man who could toe the line between life and death, it might be Cold. However, caught off guard by Madden coming out from the double door. And he will solidify that round. Nice try from Cold, but not enough. Fourth round on the board for Godsend as they pick up that 3v3 retake down on the lower side. And this is a very different game, Harry. Remember Brokey went 19-0 and zero back on overpass. That was part of the reason that FaZe was just leading on that CT side, just storming through the game. Well, right here, right now, it's not quite the same case. Brokey 0-5 having trouble on FaZe's map pick. Of course, the AWP hasn't really been there, but... That's not really, you know, if you're relying on the AWP on the T side and you could probably doing something wrong anyway, right? You need to be able to get effect with the rifles as FaZe will like to run a lot of fast rounds, this being one of them. Quickly out the door, Cold's got the hero AK, he's looking for kills and he's found the first. Crystal at the back of the site lines up a couple, but he only fin finish finishes the kill to Cold. It's Nico to trade and Olaf to regress back into the lobby. He gets an off angle for Steko and FaZe are running wild over this round. Rain hasn't got a gun, he's back to a Glock. He's dropped both <laughs> of his weapons, trying to find something off the floor He's and it shouldn't be a problem but of course it could be and so uh, rain will wrap around the long way as he, they expect god sent to save that is the case i mean phase have already started to save look at brokey he's in the spawn 
what if God sent went for this? <laughs> like, what if they went for it in yeah, like the I last mean, 20 seconds? What if they pulled them out sports, yeah, right? For and sure. you just last second retake the bomb site. Yeah, this could have gotten out of hand. Faze, confident that it wasn't going to come to that, I guess. And mm. they do hunt and it does work out, right? They deal with one of the players that was looking to get away with the save and they might even find Makalele. Not quite able to get around the corner there. Doesn't actually spot him back in CT. And maybe that's in Rain's best interest because Makalele certainly knew that Rain was there. It just didn't work the other way around. Olaf with a great round of Counter-Strike here. Gets some very important kills, including that one there onto Zen, attempting to save down in secret. I do think, like, if, if Olaf starts to really come into his own, playing, like, more of this solo role away from the rest of the team, then that makes this a very deadly phase squad. Because, you know, when he was still getting used to the changes, you could kind of see it in the stats, right, that he wasn't feeling the most comfortable yet. But he's certainly looking like he's kind of finding his footing and coming into his own as more and more time, more and more experience with kind of his role within this team comes in. And ooh, he knows that there's a guy here somewhere. Madden tucked into the corner. Oh, that's awkward. But the second time is a charm for Olaf. And he will deal with him. Just said a Makalele left. The two saving players from the round prior, or the two players that attempted to save, only one of them did it successfully. They're going to try it again. And it shouldn't be a problem, right? This time, Phaser at least boxed inside of B. It was a full commitment as a unit. And so no top site lurkers, no one still coming out of spawn. So FaZe do want to, you know, chase these kills down and go for exits. They got to do it together to avoid guns being gifted. But I mean, Godson are already armed to the teeth with these two. They won't get any more though. Still going to be a third round phase as they build into this game. And that's what we wanted here in Nuke. Already up a map in this series and a dominant one at that. So FaZe have a lot to prove in this best of three. Of course, remember for the road to Rio, FaZe are at the top of the group right now. Four and zero. Godson sit right behind three and one. But a loss in this series would lead them right next to G2 and Copenhagen Flames, who also sit three and two. Some of the more surprising results in this group, such as Mouse Balls two and three nearing the bottom. Certainly not what we had in mind after their Pro League Grand Final spot just a few weeks ago. FaZe have come alive since that point though, right? They get to stage two back in Pro League. They they get kind of swept in that second stage, one and four, and now they're back with a vengeance. Brokey looking for his first kill. This is the perfect round for it. Confidence boosters, but there's an immediate trade. A heavy setup down on B and Michael Lely's got two. It's going to send FaZe out of that one. They try and avoid, avoid the AK rather. They still have a man in lobby. And so A is looking like a tantalizing prospect. No one here for God's sake. They've stacked lower on this eco round and FaZe got it for free. Good reaction, right? FaZe lose two. They just divert. Michael Lely goes for a heroic play. I like the attempt. If he gets a kill there, maybe it's a winnable round. But without it, God's sake should be looking to save in this one again. Molotov is going to send uh, send Zen back. And I really don't think Godson should throw these guns into this round. You may as well just hold on to it. FaZe are going to have crossfires to solidify this A site. And Godson know it. Yeah, but since these rifles have come out, it has led to a lot of these saves for Godsent, which is certainly setting a bit of a worrying tone. It's good that you're able to hold these weapons forward, right? It's allowed this kind of constant presence in the server from Godsent, but eventually you've got to start to tip the rounds in your favor or else it is all for naught. Steeko, he's oh in a, a tricky spot here, but with the other two down beneath him, he can kind of control if he wants to take these fights and... You can be assured that he does not want to take these fights in that situation there. So they hold on to these two weapons. Stiko is going to be able to reinvest in armor. He could drop an M4. Now, maybe that leads to uh, there being that much more utility present in this round over what there usually would be. Obviously, that's one of the upsides to having these two players save. Zen's also in a position where he can grab the kit for the team. Alternatively, you know, calling a little pause here and seeing this buy trickle in. I, no, I just don't think you partial. I was going to say, like, maybe yeah. they partial to get I'd the orb out. Yeah. But... Seeker drop a gun and yeah. you're fine. No, that 100% feels like the way to go. Uh, Makalele could even glass cannon if you wanted to, but that feels like a bit of a risk. It may be a risk that Godsent aren't willing to take. Seeker dropping a gun over. There it is. They just left it till later on in the round.
Yeah, I mean, it would have been the round for Michael Ali to orb because Brokey's gone for his purchase. That's the first one we're seeing on the T side in this game. And I mean, boy, was it worth it back on overpass. Brokey was a, a beast for FaZe, and he looks to do it again on the T side. Not an easy half in this game to get, you know, a lot working with the AWP. Plenty of opportunities, at least. It's just about whether Godsend want to give them to you, right? Like we see teams more and more nowadays just shuffle back into this really passive outside setup. And this is one of them where Godsend don't have the orb, so they just don't want to fight red. They don't want to fight FaZe on the silo. And FaZe are giving all this room for free. At least they think it's for free, but as they get further into the yard, they're going to run into this crossfire of Michael Ellie and Zen. Zen at the back of the garage. He can watch the main split. He can deny the hell cross. Michael Ellis is looking to at least know that FaZe are getting down B and try and put a you know a spanner in the works and stop them on their way down. He's got plenty of cover if he wants to hide. Well, it's one box, but it should be enough. FaZe don't have grenades to force him out of position. So setting up utility towards Yard, going for the garage smokes and crossing towards B seems to be the game plan. Again, Olaf is in lobby and this is the best part about these lurks for FaZe. They don't have to commit towards B. They can split main, they can split heaven, they can go for a topside play, but Godsend already making things difficult. A grenade kill with a spam from Madden finds Cold Zero and that will send FaZe down below. Yeah, they're just sneaking in, and Godsend have got no idea. They left their back door open, and, well, these intruders have just walked on in, and they've taken everything at the B-bomb site. Stiko's now realized. Oh. Alarm system's going off. Alarm bell's ringing, and Stiko heating up over towards the back of the bomb site gets dropped by Brokey. So now, this B site with seven seconds left, that bomb plant's Ooh. found. Olaf is waiting to try and cut off rotations. But he might find himself in a hot seat in a moment's time. Now they know he's coming in on this vent wrap and Madden is looking to deal with him. Olaf might have made the right decision here, nice, getting out yeah. towards the double doors and it becomes all too clear to Madden what's happened a little too soon. Oh, Olaf Ooh. just keeps on dodging him and now nice. swings out, catches the perfect timing and Brokey in with another phase. They'll find a fifth round on the board. Godsend, going to be kicking themselves that that one slips through their fingers and they just had no information what was going on towards B. Then you factor in Olaf on his little late lurk in main, getting away with a lot of success there. It all falls into place for FaZe Clan. And Olaf's been doing a really good job in this series of, of like knowing when and when to not take the fights, right? Like, you know, he doesn't drop down Vent into Madden there. He, he stalls out, he walks past Vent and goes mini. That's the last place Godsend are looking at and they get caught trying to rotate down. And then even when he does go down, Madden's waiting for him. Madden needs that kill more than Olaf needs a kill to Madden. Olaf has a bomb to play with. So he just falls out towards Secret and doesn't let Madden hunt him down. Madden chases the kill, but loses his life in the process. And that puts FaZe in the lead. 5-4 and the broken money for Godsem. Definitely seeing Olaf get more and more comfortable over time in this role. And that's a good, uh, you know, good bit of news for FaZe. Olaf certainly was getting some flack inside of this team for some time. But FaZe maybe just trying to find their identity. And right now, they've got the driver's license. They know who they are. But do they know where they're going? Smokes again outside, and it's looking like one of these lower plays again for FaZe. If they do so, please, Zen can't stop them. But he can go above if he wants to take the fight. Flash is high for FaZe, but they're going to spot him. He gets a kill at the very least before he drops. It's another player, and that's <laughs> no. the last thing FaZe are ready for. They do trade it, though. They're letting no kill go unpunished. And, and now, all Godson have seen is FaZe go lower. So do FaZe want to throw a spanner in the works and double back? That seems to be the play. Yeah, Brokey making a bit of noise, and that, at the very, very least, keeps Stiko down at the B side of the map. But Makalele and Crystal, they are still brothers in arms here, fighting at the A-bomb site. Crystal looking like he's up in heaven right now. And this would be the perfect solution to helping Makalele out. Oh, dear. That's not what they wanted, though. Brokey besting him immediately. Crystal even gets mollied. He can't get up into heaven anytime soon. And while well, Bomb Plant found that Molly going to fade, allows a bit oh. of room for Crystal. Wow. And the trade will come in. Rain, though, makes that round look a little too easy for me. Not a fan, personally. That was too <laughs> clean. And I'm worried that too many people are going to try and replicate that in the server. Not many people are like Rain. 
Six on the board now for FaZe, and they are continuing to find success. The moment these rifles have come into play, and it's been rifles yeah. versus godsend, FaZe have been coming up every single time, it feels like. FaZe have been waiting to do that round all game, right? Like, with the amount of uh, plays towards a secret area, and the amount of times that FaZe have at least, like, hinted, like, they want to hit upper, uh, you know, that round where they try and go up the vents, but Zen's waiting and kills Olaf in main, and they molly it and, and kill Crystal on B. Uh, even rounds where FaZe have taken secret and walked right back up, you know? FaZe have wanted to, to throw one of those fakes in this in this T side because they're so good at catching uh, teams off guard, especially when FaZe have been committing to be more often than not. So Godsend caught on those rotations and Stiko has got to go on one of his own, dropping down lower. Zen coming in from hell, but Molotovs for FaZe will keep him out of this position and FaZe can do whatever they want again. Do they want to do the standard, which is hit B off this position, or do they want to spice things up and, and use this position and go back towards lobby, flank heaven, hit A, Right now, they've lost Nico outside. That's certainly created some problems, but FaZe have at least got the ramp room as they just sit here, steadfast holding. Yeah, FaZe were like trying to play around with the kind of tendency they've set of having players cross, right? Looking to gain some map control quickly at ramp. And Nico just then, I think he was supposed to come in and help out with this Hell player, who I think FaZe imagined were going to be a bit more, you know, focused on flushing out the ramp room. Zen Ooh. actually completely blindsides Nico and follows up on terrain, no less. So a man advantage still maintained for Godsend, even with that trade coming on through. And now FaZe... Setting up outside of the A side of the map, a player in the vents on a rotation up to help out. Olaf, though, walking out of the hut, a position that's gone unaccounted for. And oh dear, Olaf, oh, laughing all the way to the bank at the end of this round, man. He, get, he takes three down with him and secures a seventh on the board for FaZe. Stiko with an MP9 and a dream. And likely isn't going to have much to say in this round. FaZe deliver once again, this time in a three on four. And they're able to find success. It goes from three on four to three players surviving very, very quickly. And there's the X factor, right? There's the, the legendary aspect of some of these players on phase at any moment. One of these guys can just go off and tear through the server and well, Godsend have had a, a hole in them ripped. Stiko looking to patch it, but he's only gonna get one, at least trading onto Olaf in that round. But the AWP secured and the round follows for FaZe. 7-4 on the T side. This is such a great start for Godsend as well. So that's why it's even more impressive that FaZe have just 180'd it since that 4-1 beginning. Not dropping a rifle round in some time. <laughs> I mean, Olaf, they just lined up for him on the A side, didn't they? One after the other, headshot, 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 and FaZe crunching top site again. God sends money's been broken, though. And FaZe, they're going to play around their spawns. Olaf's going quick towards ramp. Cold is holding the hut. Passive yard play for a change. Hoping Godsend bring the fight to them. And that seems to be, you know, the gameplay that you would expect in an eco round like this. Very close positions for Godsend. They're fighting towards the hut. They've boosted in on ramp. They're looking for kills. Ooh. Scary. But... That's the thing, I wouldn't want to toy around with Cold Zero like too much, you no. know? Like, yeah, you can you can tease him a bit at first, but I don't know, man. I don't know, Crystal. I don't fancy yeah. it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it, <is. laughs> it was only a matter of time before it comes through and Cold, well, he swats him away like it's nothing. Man advantage is now taken for phase in this round. Now, Stiko is boosted up here in the ramp room earlier on, and he's looking Ooh. to give us some big Ooh. results. Gets a lot of damage Ooh. off with the Deagle, and Stiko absolutely on a tear. The AK oh. picked up. Get out of ramp phase. This area does not belong to you. Stiko has pulled these shutters closed, and now it all falls onto Nico. 1v5 coming in on a late lurk from outside. He's trying to send us a message with his crosshair. And we just don't have the technology to work out what he meant with that one. But I think he's trying to show us, you know, he's got an idea as to where these players reside. He's now looking to save. I, I think no he's time left venting in frustrations. Round. Yeah. That's what it seemed like. Maybe. I mean, with the time and everything, he knows. He can't even really go for this round. And the worst part about that is Godsend have just surrounded the guns and the bomb. And so everyone is now well armed. Michael Eddy finds an AWP. Madden upgrades to an AK. Three of them for Godsend. That's a killer round to win on the CT side. Not only in the eco where they were saving anyway, but one that they massively upgrade their weaponry in. 
Ridiculous stuff for Stiko. How he's able to fall off and still get three more, I do not know. But he'll take it, and so will Godsend. Five rounds on the CT half. Faye's still in a commanding lead, though. And a bit of a switch up towards outside in this round for Godsend. Zen is here playing a bit more of an aggressive hold in the ramp, tucked into this cubby. And, you know, you think about how FaZe, a lot of the time when they've thrown in these smokes, there has been, like, the, the suggestion that they might try and secure main or garage. Nico as well, whenever he's played outside solo, a lot of the time he hasn't gone down secret and has instead elected to try and work this garage position over towards Hell. So this feels very, very purposeful, playing like a bit of a bait-and-switch setup between Makalele and Zen. And I'm curious how this is going to work out. We're going to have to bear this in mind as the outside smokes now come in. And this is perfect. Ooh, yeah. Zen is in the perfect Ooh. position Ooh. for this round. The timing for him to pounce is now. It's still oh, now. No. Now it's not now. And he's missed the opportunity coming in late. Makalele going to steal both of those kills. Nice try, Zen, but Makalele got there first. Brokey and Nico, two on four. And this round has been snatched from underneath them, perhaps. Brokey does put up one. Nico doesn't realize oh. there's a guy on the rafter. And oh, dear, it falls apart. Nice. Nice bit of surf in there from Stiko and a sixth on the board for Godsend. I love that from Michael Ailey. That's just so BS. Like Zen's holding, Zen's ready, Zen's waiting, and Michael Ailey just de pushes the smoke. <laughs> like, what on earth are you doing? Finds a third kill onto Brokey, wins the round for Godsend. And FaZe, I like the idea, right? They throw those outside smokes to try and look like they're hitting B, but Godsend no better. And FaZe, they slink through the main smoke only to, well, get shot in the back. So a chance for Godsend to win this half out now. They are in an anti-eco against seven for FaZe. They should eco up the scoreline. And then to anyone's guess who will be taking the last of the half. But Godsend at least. They've got to give us there that we've already seen ecos be won by the CT side. Can FaZe do the dirty right back? Really got to make do with what you've got. And that's the idea for FaZe in this round. Nice slow one, bleeding out the utility. Hoping God don't make a mistake, but that ain't happening. Top sight hit incoming. Not seen the smoke. We haven't seen it yet, have you? <laughs> there we go. Smoke's off. Looks like it's set up for the side of a squeaky push in towards those vents. Now, that's not going to be the only person there. Maiden Jair just on the other side of the smoke. That creates an interesting dilemma for FaZe. We have otherwise constructed and crafted around here that gives them that opportunity to get out into the squeaky, into the vents, and then drop the bomb and get into lower. Maiden, though, they're going to know it. All the lineups are there, and it's got Crystal's name all over it. So far, so good. Nico with a nice Hello. legal shot, though. A little bit of recovery before he's taken out by Makalele. And the Technina just proves not to have the distance, not to have the girth that it needs. Sometimes a bit of thickness can go a long way, Trace. And while well, Godsend, they have really padded out this half here. I was really just thinking about, you know, how you use the Tech 9. Yeah. And how that's, you know, more important. Sure. The word girth really, you know, isolated that. That's exactly what I thought of, Trace. Yes, man. I'm not sure where your mind is, but anyway, maybe that mullet, mullet's getting to your brain. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, it is woven into my skin at this point. So. I mean, there's a guy that hasn't taken it off all day. He woke up <laughs> and he put it <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, no, that's actually really true. And I don't want to think about it because the more I do, the sadder I get. Nico over here towards outside with this AK looking for an opener. And Makalele, well, he just might offer one up. Timing's going to be everything here. And Makalele... No, what? you're joking. That's not how I thought that was going to go. I almost made the comment, yeah, you should have this one dead to right. So I'm very glad I didn't. Because when you're up against Nico, you got to take into account that this man is a bit of a machine. Rain continuing to force his way towards outside, looking to avenge his fallen friend in Nico. Oh, no. And they've just left hell. They've just given Rain a bit of space to work with. This should cement an upper play for FaZe with Rain having this map control. He can tear this A-site apart, but actually Zen, eyes in the back of his head, umbrella out, no rain today, but Cold looking to take this back in favor of FaZe. 
Both players here for Godsent. It's a two on three, an all out brawl for A, and it might go Godsent's way unless Cole does something to say. And maybe he does. 30 seconds left on this clock. The bomber is back and still a chance in this round. Yeah, I'm surprised FaZe continued to hit up after Zen, get, uh, Zen gets that kill into the player in heaven. Godsent fully stacked up there and FaZe opting to walk into it. Cole has got a very good position here. Is he going to go heaven? No, he's walking ramp to B. This is a long rotation. Uh, and it is going to be avoided. Stiko's not going to hear things until Cold is already on that B bomb site, but he has to run. He has to plant. 10 seconds being loud about it. Stiko snuck down the vents. Cold, it's a gamble. It's a guessing game. Where is Stiko coming from? He's going to stay inside of the site. He knows that noise had to, has to be made if Stiko wants to get out. So the door getting open. Cold's ready for it. Stiko looking for the check, and he's got it perfectly in the one on one. Three kills for Stiko, eight rounds for Godsend. They solidify and cement the lead at the end of the first half. But this is Nuke, and FaZe still have an excellent T side. Is it split down the middle? And by split down the middle, I mean Godsend have done just about everything they knew, or excuse me, knew how to do. But Stiko did it just a little bit better. Welcome back to the SL1 Road to Rio. I've got Harry and Hugo with me, and they're going to take it away. Yes, indeed, Trays. Thank you very much. God sent. You can see those GG bet odds. Really not Ooh. painting a pretty picture. 888. Maybe there's some demonic meaning to that one as well. Couldn't tell you. Well, they, yeah, I mean, that's that's something. And considering they won the half, and <laughs> they're still not favored that, that aggressively. Woo. Well, let's see if it's making sense. Faze are waiting on the A site and quick kills coming through from Madden mainly. He finds two. Train is back in for Cold Zero who's on a bit of a streak. He's hunting ducks here in the A site and well feathers and all crystal will fall. It's going to be Faze finding the pistol round on the CT side. Sorry that'll be my uh, my solid gold dollar chain hitting the desk that everyone just heard oh that's what that was yeah how many carrots uh i mean he is a vegetarian yeah five a day five a day <laughs> yeah at least <laughs> yeah you just add to it do you yeah man sure oh. <laughs> trace take it away please all of these yeah. carrots harry is a vegetarian so nico don't count your carrots before they hatch that's the old saying or before they grow, I guess. Here you're, is yeah, the you're Eagles hatching. for you're God's not, not gardening right, Harry. Well, they hatch from the dirt. <laughs> sure. So I think I win this one. Nico trying to win one of his own. The hatching from secret now. <laughs> Appearing from below. There it is. There's yeah. one. <laughs> Has he been eating his carrots, though? Because that would help him with seeing in the dark. And it's not that dark in secret but it's dark enough and here he is man just laying waste to them just a couple of deagles outside having trying What's to have a this? good time a one way what is it it's a Ooh. set one way nico's got and we've all stolen it now nice try nico the world knows and um, like a little beanstalk he's sprouting out of these stairs He's certainly not going to hatch anytime soon. That I can assure you made it real close. And that was a pretty smoke. We're going to have to run that one back. Perhaps Bastion was able to catch it. We can run it and see it all over again. Meantime, let me give you a little bit of an update over here with North and Contact going toe-to-toe -to -toe on stream B. Contact looking to pick up this first map. They are down a player in this round, but do have a few rounds to work with, it seems. And that, that, would is... be, that would be a bit of a shambles for North if they lost that series. Obviously, getting kind of owned in their group, but yeah, they looked good, uh, you know, coming into this year, well, so I'm surprised That's to see just that. about that, isn't it? Mm. Potential North loss in the first map of that series. We'll keep you updated with where it goes and more, but right now, FaZe going for a 2-0. Godsend looking to put a stop to that, or at least a start to their T side. They've bought up fully, and even then, it's not pretty. Out of utility in the first 30 seconds of the round. Smoke, flash, nade is all remains. brokey has got the scout as well, so no AWP and play just yet. He's 6-12, and 12 and FaZe is still holding the lead. So even though he, I say, carried them in the last map, he didn't have to carry them, right? And this is evidence of that. Flashing his teammate for a fight outside. Nico going to look into it, but he sees nothing. Godsend are hiding behind the walls. 
the Brokey doesn't realize, but there's a player actually already out ramps. Deco. Oh, hello. Very good position. Catches Brokey looking the wrong way. And it's going to be Hudson taking the advantage. Deco won't commit to that hell wrap, and that might uh, cause some problems for FaZe as they think Godsent are coming in for that top site. That's not the case. Olof's gone lower, and he's going to meet a lot of Godsent players, but he only sees one. Yep, just a quick passerby. Hey, hello, how are you? We're going to plant the bomb now. Hope that's not a problem. Nico takes down Crystal. That's the first casualty in this round four. God sent as Rain tries to wrap around over here with the decon door. Get some spamage, but nobody is home. A lot coming down to this kill right here. It's Deco. Can't get his footing. Can't get the cross here where he wants it. It's going to be Cold Zera that nets himself a sweet AK mm. and a save coming out for FaZe. Yeah, they just want the money, right? Like, they know that if you let Godsent in early and Godsent break you, they're going to start building on rounds. But FaZe realize that, okay, yes, we can afford to give away one here as long as we reset it, as long as we come in with a rifle round that wins. And they have all the money for it because of that 2-0 lead at the start of the half. So FaZe falling back on their bank accounts, and this will be the round that they attempt to reset Godsend. Without that, well, Godsend, they not only have a lead, but they should run away with some T-side rounds in this game. Let's see if FaZe can stop that before it happens. And the big question on everybody's mind, where did you guys get those sick-ass tracksuits? Well, that's ESOGaming.com slash shop, or shop.ESOGaming.com, I think, actually. Is yes, the, that's the right. One. Head over there, check it out. Limited line of apparel designed by Hugo Byron, not to be confused with Hugo Boss. No, I, I don't support that company. Stolen my name, in fact. Uh, okay, then. Uh... Oh! Oh, Ow. no, you're kidding. Steve one HP. With one HP manages to win that fight out. Yeah, I don't know either, Rain, honestly, man. Like, <laughs> uh, But there's the trade for Cold at the very, very least, and we're back into a four-on-four. Four. It, it's like if Rain didn't wallbang, Stiko wouldn't have swung. So it's, if Rain did poke the bear. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> if you're going to poke the bear, at least kill it, you know? That's what they always yeah, say. Man, that's the age-old saying. Like, you all remember that one <laughs> right up there with some of the other big sayings. Here's the need onto Crystal. However, Crystal still allowed to get the bomb planted. Nico, not a fan of that. Not a big fan mm. of Crystal's work in this round. And he does let him get out of the site now. Nico, ooh, there's a little connection there into the player in the door. <gasps> yes. And he actually just takes the bomb. You love to see it. You oh, hate to see it. Body if you're God sent it. Oh, oh, wow. oh, love you hero. He took bullets for Nico. And that's exactly what you want to see. Olaf leaps down, takes it like a oh, champ. Man. They think they've killed the bomb planter, and Nico is just allowed to stick it. And that's not the most, uh, the, the the last or the first heroic defuse player Olaf Meister has had in, in his career, if we think back to that defuse on the B side of Overpass in the Fire and Flames. But this time, he protects Nico while he gets the job done. FaZe find a 10th round. I love that call. They realize Godsend ducked out of the sight, and they just go, screw it. Let's give it a go. Let's see if we can win this round instantly and not have to worry about winning a four-on-four -four retake. Oh, hello. Steeko spots Rain. He's going to run through the Molotov. The grenade will get in his way, pushing him to 50 as it's not Rain, rather. It's Olaf who's dropped down below. Cold's pushed in the hut. Rain's still playing this door. Got to be very careful this time. And Madden is going to get re-smoked. So he can't try and get this trade off of the noise that Rain's making. Meanwhile, Constant just have to hold off. Stiko again has gotten in this position. Will it catch off phase later in the round? Yep. Meanwhile, here comes Makalele. Going to find some footing inside of the lobby. But ultimately, this has gone pretty well for phase thus far. They have a lot of control. Oh, no. Crystal was like, oh, I figured it out. I, I figured out a little pathway into main. But no, Brokey was watching it, and he had that one under lock and key. Now, the rest of God said, they're set up outside of this A site, or with the exception of Stiko, who once again has been able to secure one hell of a foothold here at round. However, this time, Brokey is keeping an eye on him and really looking to limit how Ooh. much damage Stiko can do. Brokey with a nice flick to deal with Stiko, and Makalele gets mobbed up shortly after. Phase 11 rounds on the board, four players staying alive, and it's a recipe for success here for this CT side. Godsend, 
I'm going to go back to the kitchen and revisit this one. Flick through the recipe book and see what they can provide heading into round 21. Ah. Yeah, fast flicks from Brokey in that round. It's him and Cold that have made this series look so good for FaZe. Brokey back on that last map. Cold here on Nuke. Multi-kill after multi-kill. He is warm as anything. Like an apple pie, some say. Like a warm apple pie. Sure. He should, he should change his name. Who needs Cold Zero? More like apple pie Zero. That, that really flows off the tongue, Trace. Not really the tongs we were looking to use for this no. meaty word delivery. Oh. Meanwhile, let the memes begin. Olaf gets a smoke drop down there, bides himself a little bit more time, and Goths didn't know this. They go chasing through that. There's a real oh, chance that he just gets my. tore up. And Stiko, an unbeknownst victim to the one-way smoke that is CSGO. Yeah, they're just kind of stuck here, it seems. Yeah, this is something that FaZe have been doing like a really good job of, of, of being able to replicate. And that is that God sent that they're going into ramp thinking like, wow, look at all this control we've got. But it's very much by design from FaZe, right? It's not so much God sent taking ramp away as it is FaZe giving it up and then just setting up to retake in man advantages, trying to even deny it getting that far. And that's what Rain is hoping oh, to no. do in this round here oh, and now. Dear. They are not ready. And well, wait, Ooh. might go for the spam. And if he does, Madden will get very unlucky in this kind of head to head. Phase on for the rotation, four on three. Bomb planted and ticking away. God sent, have a little bit of time to try and solidify these post parts, and that time has now expired. Crystal, only good for one, does get taken down by Nico. Still the man advantage lying with FaZe. And no noise has been made by Rain at Decon this whole time. Finally, he gives up his game. And now they know that he is here. Madden up on top of the silo. Time is ticking down and getting away from FaZe Clan and Co. And they've got to leave this round back on out of it. FaZe. I don't know. I felt like maybe they pumped the brakes a little yeah. too harshly there in that one. I would have loved to see Ray try and stop the bomb pump, right? Obviously, he doesn't know it, but no one was covering it, and it was open for him in decon. But he he makes what I would say is a safe call. He's 9-14, and 14, right? He's having a rough game. And so he makes the right call, which is wait for your team and play retake. He, he was the first to be, and he's the last to have any impact in that round because the rest of phase four before him. So Rain, he hesitates, he waits, but maybe the earlier opportunity would have been a little more bountiful for him. He weren't he wasn't to know that though. And FaZe will have to forego that round. Godson convert it on the B bomb site. They're up to ten double digits. Phase is money on the rocks. Brokey's got a Norp. Rain's got a Deagle. So we have quite the uh disparity in wealth here for FaZe Clan. And we'll see what they can do with it. Still plenty of rifles to make things happen. And Nico has pushed Yard. He's climbing up on top of Red as well. Crystal is waiting for this. Such a scary position because you've got to be ready for the silo peak as well as the players that could be outside. Now, Nico's really poor positioning. Yeah. It's going to be what bites him in the behind there. That's smart. I mean, you know, it's a bait, right? Godson are watching him from all the way back. They know that eventually someone will get tired in Yard and push. And uh, as they do... Crystal capitalizes, he pops forward, he takes the kill. Oh, oh Rain, Rain knew Steeker was there, but he couldn't hit the shot with a Deagle. Uncharacteristic. And uh, this could be FaZe, you know, falling apart a little bit in the latter stage of their map pick. I can't afford to happen here as Godsend look to find their 11th round. There's only three players in the way of that. Oh, oh Brokey, no. Hello, there it is. Come on, man. Three's not enough, surely. And I thought he was going to go ahead and get even more, but the trade is in from Makalele. Olaf now up in heaven, and he's got this crossfire set up with Cold. Oh, dear. Makalele finds that out the hard way. Stiko, a lot to do. 25 seconds to get it done in. And that's not enough time. Damn. Not enough life for yeah. Stiko there. Cold and Olaf with that crossfire set up. They're able to hold the fort. But it's Brokey that gives that round a phase. We're going to watch back this highlight here. He's holding upper. But the, the thing that's so nuts is like the confidence in this third kill. Like he just knows he's going to get it. Just swings wide, takes the fight, knows he has to have quite the performance there if they want to pick that round up. And he just takes every gunfight back to back to back and puts a 12th round on the board for phase. Brokey has been a treat to watch today. I've absolutely loved it. 
And even though, like, the beginning of Nuke had been a pretty rough start for Brokey, he is more than recovered now. Uh, well, Rain's gonna have to take an Advil and get ready for that one on the backside. It's Crystal with the clock to the dome. It gives him a bit of a headache. Worry some troubles. He just drops down and clears mini. Doesn't matter though. The kills are coming in in the way of FaZe Ooh. Clan and just Zen. Right. He's got himself in the lower. He's gonna be able to get a bomb plan out of this too. All things considered, very calculated. Yeah, but not past that point. That's uh, all he'll get done in the round. But a bomb part is still pretty good for Godsend on an eco like that, where they save a decent amount of money. I mean, they can buy fully moving forward, and they need that more than ever. FaZe are clinching a victory three rounds away from it. A 2-0 that would be as well. FaZe already dominated Godsend on their map pick of, Info of Overpass, rather. And Dust 2 being our third, if we get there. And uh, that, a lot of the answer to that question is going to be decided here and now in this round. Godsend, if they fall here, not only FaZe will be up to 14, but they'll be anti-eco to close it out, or at least get us to match point. Cold, 27 kills. Quite the affair right now on the CT side for FaZe Clan. nico has got to deal with the outside control. Godsend throwing... Problems at that. They've got two players trying to cross. Brokey's been flashed off and he can't stop them with the orb. The orb of which on the T side is raining down death. Michael Ellie is looking for a pick, but he's got to cross past this AWP. Rain has lost his life in a lobby push that's gone wrong here. It's actually Manon getting out onto the top site. The lobby push has come from ramp and Olaf has gone through a smoke, catching Stiko looking the wrong way. Three on three. A very weird round with these orbs still yet to fire shots off outside. Michael Ellie doubles back and uh, avoids the outside control, avoids the orb from Brokey. Loki was so close to killing him, and God sent, they want to get this bomb into the A bomb site, but they're seeing if uh, if FaZe want to give them a fight before that point. FaZe is setting up to retake, but not needed to just yet. It would be, if anything, a mistake if FaZe threw a player at them right now. Has someone just DC from FaZe? No, I think it's the other way around. And so we still have three alive for the CT side while the HUD might deceive you. Yeah, Olaf is still on the server. He's going to go oh, for wow. quite a drop there. Lands right in Makalele's face. It reminds him that clowning is unacceptable. That was a very weird round. Yes, it was. And you can imagine we're going to be seeing a tech timeout on the backside of it. Brokey, the only one left alive. AWP, no time really to get in the site. So that's going to be a leveth for Godsend. When Olaf pushed the uh, ramp smoke, Stiko was like looking at it and he didn't react to Olaf walking through a smoke. Like that should be Stiko's kill every day. And it did look like he'd crashed. And with him no longer being in the server, I think this all kind of adds up now. Luckily, they won't lose the round, even though Stiko dies there. But that could have been a real problem for Godsend. Luckily enough, they're still in this one, and FaZe Clan are actually the ones with economical problems. Madden realizes that this series is done unless someone makes a play right here, right now, and he does everything needed and more, running out through the door and finding three. I wonder if Stika was the guy having internet problems as well on the run-up to this game. Yeah, potentially. Hopefully that's not the case, but as we get more information, we'll be sure to keep everyone informed as to what's going on. This series, one that's continuing to heat up, right? And Nuke is immediately more competitive than Overpass. God sent her in a spot now where realistically they can get back into this game. And that's not really out of the question yet. So, you know, if, if we can see Madden in particular, like really picking up the pace and delivering the performances we've come to anticipate from him, then I still think there's some mileage in the tank for this godsent crew here on Nuke. We still are waiting, but it shouldn't be very much longer. I think we're actually all set. Stiko looks to be back in the server. We've reset the HUD. So this pause should be coming to a close sooner rather than later. 13 to 11, FaZe Clan potentially 2 owing the series, which sets us up for our final matchup of the evening. Heretics taking on the Ninjas in pajamas. Not to be confused with the Ninjas in pajamas, who are the same exact team. Yeah, that's an exciting game. A lot of people are wondering why, um, you know, we're, we're, we're running that on the mainstream over Dig Astralis, and that's, of course, because Dig you know, are already out. They can't go through to the next stage. So that game versus Astralis is not meaningless. Of course, it matters for Astralis far more, but, it, you know, the, the results, the consequences of that series aren't as extravagant as the consequences of Heretic's Nip, who are both teams, you know, top of their group right now, or at least in the top three, Astralis is second. So... That is far more of an important game when it comes to the standings here in the road to Rio and who's going to be making it forward to the next stage. 
Right now, FaZe are looking for that very uh, very point, but Godson are coming alive at the end of the half, or at the end of the game. Yes, a tale of two halves, also known as Counter-Strike. 15 it, rounds and then 15 rounds. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. And here with me are the meme of times. Rain's gonna be pushed up in the lobby. He's got one onto Crystal. Can he be good for more, though? Can this be where they put a stop to godsend shenanigans? That's a huge heroic play to make uh, in, in such an important round in a 5-1-5. Rain just pushing lobby. If he dies there, that's such a problem for FaZe. But instead, it's put them a man up, and they're not done with it. They're going to continue to get aggressive. Rain pushes back into the smoke with the support from his teammate as well. Back to the ramp they go, into Boki's AWP, and Olaf's double setup as well. Everywhere, oh. Godsend go, they walk into two, and two for Cole puts 14 for FaZe. They might just be able to take this series away. And it's one of these phase games where we get a monstrous performance from Cold Zera. And they're always a treat to watch. He's got 29 kills to his name at the end of this round here, thanks to this little double mow down on the hot push. 14 now on the board for phase. And the chance for Godsent to get back into this game all falls onto this one round. If they lose it, they're force buying. They've got nothing up against Match and Series Point. If they win it, then they do bring FaZe into an awkward spot and they can still have some legs on them in this game, but it very much hinges on finding something here and now. And Crystal, well, he doesn't really like what he's found over outside. He's found Brokey. Yeah, back-to-back -back rounds where Crystal's been the first dude to die for Godsend. Obviously, he is, you know, at least in this case, the one tasked with pushing behind Red, crossing, doing that difficult role. But even last round, just pushed in the heart by Rain. <laughs> and that's a swift shot from Olaf. Everywhere Godsend go, they're walking into Hellfire. Oh, Olaf, one has gotten out past him, and he might not realize Ooh. Zen could do damage here. One little quick tap, and that removes Olaf from play. Suddenly, he's got to sit back and watch as his four teammates try and see this one through to the very end. Zen and Makalele, they've got their fair share of spectators. Three players from beyond the grave, hoping that they can keep God sent in this series. And it all oh. falls onto Zen, and Zen falls shortly after. Phase 15 on the board, match and series point now. And five kills is all that separates them from continuing this flawless streak at the road to Rio. Something funny just happened there between Zen and Rain. When you both open the door at the same time, the doors open outwards on either side. They they invert, if to if, if that's a good word for it, right? Like one door opens, the other door shuts, essentially. And uh, that always catches you off guard when you see that. The, the door swing in the way you least expect it. Rain gonna get the kill behind it. He's really been playing things safe on the CT side. That's nice to see. Fast play out hot, and Rain is just gonna rain down death. Two kills, make it a third into the Molotov. They are walking into fire, smoke, rain, 